Alright, so today we're going to cover how to make an XML document using C-sharp code. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by adding a library here using system.xml.link. And then we'll go over here and we're going to start by using xdocument. And we'll call it xdoc equal new xdocument. Now this next part where you do the x declaration it's not necessary but uh, you might as well do it just for safety reasons and to do that you just want to give it these simple values utf8 finally yes okay so now we're actually going to start the real X, uh, xml file or document we're going to start by making the x element don't forget this column over here we're going to start by making the new x element, which will be our root. Um, we'll call it root name. We're not going to give it a name, but we'll just call it root name anyways. And the first child is going to be done by doing this x element, like so. Never mind the error right now. We're going to call the first child child1, and we'll give it a value of data1. Right. So the next thing, let's make another child, and this time we're going to give it um, an attribute. And to do that, we're going to do this x attribute. Let's give it a, a name attribute, and the name attribute value will be code junkie. And just for keeping it same and similar to child one, we'll get also give it another value of uh, we'll call it my value, so that we can see the clear difference. And finally, you want to end the X document right here. I'm sorry, the X element, which is a root. And now we want to end the X document like so. And let's just make that neatly laid out. Actually, I don't like the way that's done. Let's go back a little bit. There you go. All right, so that's our document. So now we all we have to do here is save it. And to save it, we simply just do xdoc.save. And we need the file path. We use this file path. And let's give it a file name. Uh, we'll call it XML doc. Dot XML. And we need to change these the forward slashes or backslashes rather. And this is actually it. This is how you make a base simple XML document. So let's run this. Okay. So let's go over here. And we called it XML doc, right? There you go. So root name, well, this is actually just root, but we call it root name so you can see the clear difference. Child one with the data, child two with the at, uh, name attribute, and another value of my value. All right, so um, for the next part, let's just go a little bit more in depth with these attributes. Uh, first off, Let's start by leaving the declaration. We'll retain the name root name. But let's give it a let's give the root some attributes as well. And we'll do that by doing X attribute again. And we'll uh we'll call it uh simple. Keep it name. And attributes value will be my root name and for these child ones let's let's make it something more reasonable and sensible so we'll do full name and for the first child we'll just say it's code junkie and for the let's oh no I'm sorry that's not what we want to do we'll call it 
Um, um, <laughs> I was trying to make the attribute out of that. So we'll call this employee one, right? And then over here, we'll do new X attribute, full name. And uh, we'll call it code junkie, right? And then we'll do another attribute. Oops. We'll call this one um, job role. And we'll get a, a value of programmer. And finally, let's give it a full set of data and we'll do salary. And over here, we'll uh, we'll say this guy makes 75k, right? So this is our new child one, and uh, let's modify this to match up with the first child. Call it employee two. Let's keep the same convention. Full name. Uh, we'll call it junk code. match it up well no reason to type this up again just copy paste this and we'll give this person a data analyst forgot how to spell analyst <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah that was right analyst right and uh, we'll bump up their salary to 95k okay retain the same my value and let's see. Let's see. Do we have an end to this X document? Why is it throwing an error here? This shouldn't be an issue. That should be fine. New X element. Closes there. Closes there. Ah. This is what we're missing. So there you go, and we'll call this one uh, XML doc two. So same concept, we just add a few more attributes, so it's more similar to what a more complex um, XML document might look like. And we'll run that. Let's go check it out. Let's see how it looks. XML doc two. There you go. Here's a root name. The attributes, and for the first child, we didn't give it another value. For the second one, we retained the value, um, the input of, uh, not input, the uh, my value in between the brackets. Okay, so the last thing I want to show is that you could perform link on um, XML right here as you're building the document as well. So let's, uh, let's weed out some of this stuff. Let's get rid of the attribute. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, no, we want to keep that. Let's make this uh, a little bit simpler. We'll get rid of these attributes over here. We'll get rid of these attributes. So we'll keep it simple. We'll just do child one, child two. Let's bring this back up. And we'll give it another value of data one. And bad data one. So what we're just gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste these two times and just change these values. And let's get rid of this last bad data. Okay. So we don't want if we if we do this, right? We'll call this uh, uh, XML doc. Let's do ten just to make it very easy and that we don't lose track of what's what. So if we do this, we should just get something similar to what we had the first time, right? Yeah. So it's like the first example. 
So now we want to perform link, and in order to do that, we have to add this library using system dot link. Okay. So before we actually save it, what we want to do, we're going to make a new X document, and we'll, we'll call this one link doc, right? Equal new X document. So it follows the same pattern so far. We'll copy and paste this declaration part. Um, again, we don't need it, but you know, let's keep it going. And now we're going to make our root element. Oops. We'll just call it root to keep it simple. Now we can start our link query. So from value in xdoc dot element uh, root name dot elements where and then we have to cast it as a string <coughs> that starts with So what we're expecting to see from this, sorry, I'm a stickler for the, uh, the tabs and indentations. So what we're expecting to see from this is that inside of xdoc, this new link doc um, XML file is going to take, using this link query, it's going to take all the ones that have a value that starts with data. So we should only have data one, data two, and data three, and bad data two and bad data one should be excluded. So finally, the last thing we have to do is we have to save it, and we're going to do it by doing uh, link dot save because no longer x doc. And just to make it very clear, we'll call this XML doc link. Okay. Oh well, you could actually just open it right here. So there you go. <laughs> Here's the first one with the data and data ones and data twos and bad data one and bad data two and this is after the link query so that's all for today uh there is project files in the description i'll also leave a comment and have it pinned for the project files the project files will be commented and hopefully that'll help you on your track to creating xml documents it's a nice little intro thanks for watching uh stick around Leave some comments for any suggestions about how I can improve the way I explain things or do things and whatnot. All right, take it easy.